What is up my special meat brothers and sisters? We're back at it again with another figure review. This time we're reviewing Imperial Jamon from Digimon SH Figure Arts. No, not the regular release, the actual premium color edition. If you already have the regular regular release, a shout out to you because I don't have them or don't really intend to, to get them. But once I saw this one come out, I was like, okay, you know, and he didn't cost that much. I got him on Amazon, so I was like, why not get him, bust him out of the package, and review him? So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay guys, here we have Imperial Dramon in all of his nice paint color and applications. I'm tr I was trying to get as much as I could of him into the shot, but it just looks like this guy is too big for my light box. So without just having like any corners or sides kind of looking all like just out of place, I just kind of put him in the shot right here. So that way we can get as much as we can and as much detail as we can see pretty much up close. So the paint applications already, they look fire. The This is the premium color edition. This is not no first edition. This is the premium color one. So the latest one that has came out. I think like uh, months ago, I'm pretty sure that they came out with him already months ago. But the red, the metallics on him look really, really good. Oh my gosh. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, my cat almost knocked over my setup. Stop, Callie. So, you got the reds right there, especially on his wings. And I have it fully expanded, as you can see right here. This is his wings when it's just fully expanded. Drop down right here. And you can kind of see the yellow, or not the yellow, it's actually the gold right there on his shoulders. Everything about this figure, it just the paint applications are nice the anything that's sorry anything that's red on him is very metallic even right there on the back and on the front as well as the let's see yep you got the yellows golds and i'm pretty sure the only thing that's metallic on him is the red and the gold the blue right there on his helmet is metallic but Everything else is kind of like a gloss, gloss finish, even on the blues on his, on the inside of his armor right there. Real quick, guys, I just wanted to say, or actually, I just wanted to ask any of you, like, what is your favorite Digimon out of the whole series? For me, it's always going to be Metal Gururumon, and it's funny enough that I do not own a Metal Gururumon. I own a War Greymon, which is from... I think the SH Figure Arts line. Yeah, it's it's from SH Figure Arts. And then I own a Duke Mon as well. I'm pretty sure, yeah, a Duke Mon, the blue and silver edition. That's from SH Figure Arts. And then this is my third one that I own. And I can't believe that I don't have a Metal Guru Mon. But I will get him as soon as they release, like, I don't know if they have him on SH Figure Arts. Comment down below if they do. But anyways, back to it. So let's get into the articulation and take him off of the rotating stand. Okay, guys. So when it comes to his articulation, let me see. I'm trying to get him as far back as I can without compromising anything. He is big. He is really, really massive in my opinion. He's almost as big as like a cooler. So you got the wings. I put them down right now. So as you can see right there on the wings, let me see, bring his. So right there on the wings, they they are jointed right here on both sides. You have the swivel right here that kind of helps it go in, go in and out. Let me go ahead and give you the, the back side of it see the hinge right there helps it go in and out and then you have the swivel right here so and then you have the tail articulation kind of like Frieza's tail so it goes side to side and it's something that you plug in out of the package and it goes up and down 
nothing too crazy let me just put these back of them so on to the articulation as far as this head goes down about this much goes up about that much his arms can go up really really high he can do the t-pose don't play with them and they kind of drop down too, the arms i don't know if you can kind of see that so you can put them back and then they have a small butterfly joint right there small butterfly joint and then the shoulder pieces they move individually so that's pretty cool so you can move this up like that and then move this if you wanted to so yeah that's pretty nice uh bends right here at the elbow got that i was i was i was kind of worried that he might be a little bit fragile only because of his build i mean it's a digimon build their build is very very skinny and it wouldn't support any of the extra things that you would put on him but no he he holds his weight up just fine let me see yep we have a swivel right here at the elbow so he can cross his arms if need be don't play with him and then wrist goes it goes 360 but it's hindered by the claws right here and they don't seem to go up and down or in and out let's see uh, so as far as his laser i'm pretty is it the positron laser yeah the positron laser so this piece right here you you take that piece off right there and you can already kind of see sucks right there but look i already have like a scuff right there but it wasn't because i put this on it was because like right out of the package he had that scuff and i was trying to see if the paint was peeling a little bit more but it's not i don't know what happened right there they must have missed that spot so for this laser right here you're gonna flip that open and then when he's about to use it let me see you can kind of open that up a little bit wider to get a little bit you know better range of motion i guess so put that back on oh i should say that for his for this i, I know i'm getting ahead of myself with the accessories but i just want to get this out of the way before i forget so you can flip this same laser kind of let's see is it in or is it out okay so flip this i guess you can put that in have it like this and then you open up his chest it goes up like this goes back so that way you can reveal the inner mechanisms of his chest put this like so and then hold on there you go and then have him as if he was doing the let's see come on you got the gist has him at, have him as if he was doing the attack like that so that's his positron laser put this down there you go and he's nice and sturdy i like that even though his limbs are very 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 thin or i should say lengthy so moving on down to the abdomen part he's going to be able to move down let's see yep down about this much before he starts to feel some give he can go back about this much which isn't bad and then he does kind of have a side to side let's see yeah he does have a little bit of side to side and then of course you know he can twist side to side so moving on down to his legs he's able to kick up about this much 
he doesn't i mean he does have a thigh swivel right here but it's not really going to be used only because of the thin piece right there let's see bends at the knee let me see if i can get better than that bends at the knee pretty nice and then no boot cut but we do have articulation right here in the foot that goes up and down a little bit of an ankle rocker but nothing too crazy so that is it for my boy imperial Jaman on the articulation let's just go ahead and get into the accessories all right guys so when it comes to his accessories he doesn't really come with a headpiece and he doesn't really come with a whole lot so i already kind of went over his positron laser right here standard with what you get with digimon so you get the spikes right there very nice let me see if i can get closer very glossy this folds in and then you can kind of bring that out push that back in and then like i said before to install it you just plug that piece in so that is the positron laser next is his i think it's called like a giga blast or something like that this pegs into his chest piece and it looks really nice so you right there you have like this translucent piece of plastic that's on the inside nothing too crazy looks really nice and then last but not least the hands so with the hands you get a pair of like open palm hands that's that right there nice blue and then you get some i don't know if they're sword holding hands but a pair of holding hands i guess if you want to hold the giga blast like with two hands so that's that and that is going to be it for the accessories he doesn't really come with much but he overall he just is an awesome figure now i'm going to put as much accessories as i can on him and give him my final thoughts okay guys here is imperial Draman with as much accessories as i can put on him as you can see my boy is tall let me go ahead and get a little bit of a better shot he is really tall and overall he's just a nice figure i mean if you guys are not really into digimon i i wouldn't i don't i wouldn't suggest going out of your way to try and get him uh, if you already own the original one this is exactly the same thing as the original one i just kind of missed out on the first one that came out and i was like wait they're coming out with a premium color edition and you know me i'm a sucker for the premium color ones so i really liked it because once i saw pictures and promo uh, pictures of them i was like the red metallic yes gotta get it and the gold metallic yep i gotta get it when it whenever these new figures come out and they have some type of metallic finish i have got to get them his joints are really nice and tight the limbs on him are very lengthy but he can hold his own weight he doesn't flop over i thought the chest piece and his abdomen were going to be kind of a problem but he's not flopping all over the place he is a solid figure in my opinion all right guys that's going to wrap this video up on imperial Jamon. let me know in the comment section below if he's going to be a pass or grab major piccolo shout out to everybody's born since day one and like i've said the channel is lazy but the movement ain't oh,